What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of video games, we're going to be checking out Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormground. And I'm going to be giving you some of my first impressions, thoughts about it. So strap on in, you guys will know that I'm a big Warhammer fan, whether it be 40k or fantasy. I can think of no other fantasy setting that I enjoy quite as much. Like I had a brief stint with, with sort of Forgotten Realms, I had like a brief stint with like Dragonlance, but for whatever reason, Warhammer is the one that has stuck with me since I was like 15 on. It's just so different and awesome. And so anyways, this is a tactical battle strategy game with roguelite elements from what I understand, where you take an army, you try to run them as far as you possibly can, and other than that, I don't really know a whole lot. If after watching this you wanted to get the game for yourself, you can check it out down below in the description. I'll have a link for you so you can go to the wish list. Aside from that, you will also find links to my Discord, my Twitch stream, and my Twitter. So let's get going and see what's happening with this game. We have three armies that we can select in the campaign mode. We have the Stormcast Eternals that look like your fairly bog standard Imperial humans. We have the Night Haunt, who look pretty cool. And of course, we have the Maggot Kin of Nurgle. Nurgle being one of the major chaos gods for one of you, for those of you that are not into Warhammer Fantasy or Warhammer 40k, uh, Nurgle is the chaos god of kind of plague, pestilence, diseases, all that kind of stuff. So maybe we'll give them a try. That sounds pretty sick. Actually, it looks like we can't. It looks like you have to unlock and go your way across. Oh, okay. So I, I was going to pick an army, but it looks like they're locked. So I suppose we have to go with the Stormcast Eternals. Not sure how I feel about that. I, I'd kind of like it if it was sort of like StarCraft or whatever, where like all three factions had like their first mission ready to go. The but, you Stormcast know, whatever. The Stormcast Eternals are mortal heroes that have been remade into godlike warriors in the forges of Azir. Each the embodiment of Sigmar's storm. They are the God King's wrath, made manifest, and they were created for one single purpose. Outright war! That voice actor was really giving it his all. He walked in, they've got like this background MIDI music, but this 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 voice actor was not having it. He came in, in the final realms of the Stormcast Eternals. Like, he was, he was getting into it. Good for you, man. Uh, apparently, we have a limited starting warband. Our revives will cost us a miracle, whatever that means. And then single realm conquest, whatever that means. Let's just start it on up and see what happens here. Shaiish, realm of death. A place of finality and endless decline. There resides Thanator's mats. A stronghold long thought to be unassailable. It teems with frenzied night haunt spirits, cursed to linger there by Nagash himself. It is here the tide turns for the God King's faithful. The stars themselves have been read, and they have revealed to Sigma a champion. Freya Skyhelm, a Lord Celestant. Loyal and lion-hearted. Like the Mance itself, Freya bears deep scars of Nighthaunt malice. But she will stand tall and thunder on you. Whether it be with vengeance or valiance in her heart, only Sigma knows. Every time I thunder anew, people, my, my wife gets upset. It's mostly after burrito night. Alright, so we got some little minions hanging out on a board. We just teleported in Thor style. Traveler. The dead forgive no trespasses. Foul ghouls, tormentors of my dreams. I will have vengeance. Okay. So apparently the game functions on a hex grid. We can select Freya Skyhelm, and we can move her around. I'll probably take her then, and I'll probably, like, move her over to here. That sounds good. Let's go. Oh, I guess we left click. There we go. We'll lope our way on over there with our long strides. And so all of our moves are complete. We can end. Well, well maybe I shouldn't have done that then. Now I'm going to get smacked. Yup. Oh, we get a counterattack. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's zoom in on the action here. Alright, so when a unit takes damage, the amount inflicted is reduced by the value of the armor. 
Freya's armor value is 2. If an armor value is greater or equal to the damage, an armor save may trigger, resulting in no damage taken. The higher the armor is versus the damage, the greater likelihood that an armor save will occur. Okay. Apparently we can charge as well. You will take retaliatory damage from a defender when you charge. However, the defender dies from the initial charge damage. No retaliation will be taken. All right, sounds good. And so I've got challenge and I've got hammer slam. I mean, I could charge, but like we're already here, so there we go. 10 XP has been given out to me after striking light lightning. Oh, we take over that hex too. Okay, so we follow up. Haunt my nights no more. I don't really have anything else left that I can do, I don't think, so. I assume that those little bubblies down in the bottom left, it seems like the red one is probably the damage we deal. The blue one, I'm not so sure about. The yellow one with a shield on it is the same color yellow as the top right here, so that's our armor. And then our HP is obviously the green. I think the blue is how many action points we have, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out on the next turn. I'm about to get smacked. Our retaliation damage is schmexy. I like it. And let's kill off this guy right here. I am Sigmar's to command. I will break you. Ooh, was that the fanciful armor save that the game was talking about right there? What are these little globes right here, too? Like, what do these do? I mean, I guess I'll kill you in retaliation, although this that's decidedly less awesome. This is waking. Last I recall, I was cast from high Azir to the realm of Shaish, and then I lost myself. The trauma of my reforging lingers still. Oh, there's little pyres over here, dude. So what did that do? Oh, it's just knockback. That's why I didn't deal any damage. Okay. Well, that feels bad. All right, well, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to break whatever these things are. Oh, they're spawners. Oh. Yeah. That's sort of problematic. Oh, I got new little dudes over here. There's no glory to be had here. Only vengeance. Our target is those pirates. All right. Sounds like a plan. Castigators are ranged units that attack their targets from a distance. They do not charge and do not take retaliatory damage when firing. With your castigator selected, okay, we're going to fire some arrows at these little bitches right here. Ooh, get castigated, bro. You have done been castigated. Uh, I'm just going to charge and take their spot. There we go. So they're killed. I'm going to try to kill off the skull pyre in just a second. Follow up there. Good job. Uh, I don't suppose you guys have any movement or anything left. It sort of seems like we get to do, like, one thing. We get to move. We get to attack. Uh, Aether and abilities. It's a resource used to cast active abilities. One of Freya's active abilities is challenge. It's a useful ability for drawing enemies away from weaker units like the castigators. Okay, they will be forced to move from their position to a charge Freya, taking retaliatory damage for their trouble. So, like, so it's a target in my move or in my attack range. Okay, what happens if I move over to here? Yeah, force them to charge me. There we go. All right, so you guys finish them up. Boom, they're down. And then these dudes over here, I think we're... Oh, they have abilities and stuff, too. It's weird that even when their turn's up, you can't, like, click on them to, like, lock their abilities up. It needs, like, quality of life right there. So if I click on these guys, they should still be selectable independent of whether or not they've taken their turn. Just so I could take a look and strategize for the future. Uh, I think we're done here, though. Yeah, I'm not sure how long we're going to hold here. I need to get these little skull pyres down, man. These skull pyres are becoming a problem. Let's go and we'll attack that. It doesn't look like we have attacks of opportunity. 
And then what I can do is, what abilities do you have? You have a great bow shot, and you have an indirect attack. After channeling, you will deal three damage on the target hex. Okay. Like, what if I move you guys over to here? And then, oh, they can't use their longbow anymore. I mean, I guess I can try right there. If it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. I'm not going to, like, cry or be upset about it. Either way, we got them out of trouble, so. Maybe they'll close in and go after our, yeah. Okay, I like the spell effects. That looked really good. That was kind of pretty. Uh, we'll destroy that real fast. So that is officially down. And then, oh, I got knocked back a little bit. Okay, I got a little scuffied right there. And they're going after them. Acceptable. Not my favorite thing that's ever happened. I'm going to charge real fast to get them off. There we go. And then we'll move these castigators up. And we'll try to set up for the next turn, although I don't know if it's going to happen. Uh, it looks like they can do an indirect attack right there, so we'll set that up. They spend an entire turn just kind of like spawning, so I think we'll be okay on that front. These guys haven't really taken any damage yet, so I'm just going to have them kill that. And then we'll move her up this way because she's starting to accumulate a little bit of attrition. She's starting to look a little bit scuffy, okay? She should have enough HP, though, to, like, finish them off, I think. Oh, they didn't make with the double attack right there. I thought they'd for sure go after her again, but I guess I was wrong. Now that we've killed their spawn, though, we know that they die. The God King's divine will is clear. The liberation of Thanator's Mance commences. And so does my own redemption. Sigmar willing. I stand ready. I'm victorious. I probably, I probably dilly dallied a little bit too much for that mission. I probably been, should have been more aggressive, but I wanted to play around with things and really learn my character. Uh, we've got the Castigators. Okay. Uh, we got Skyhelm's Saga. All right. I like the menus. They're lovely and well animated. Let's go over to the West Battlements. I guess it looks like we'll get a tank class and a skill. All right. Are they going to make me pay for these at some point? I get worried when I see loot boxes like that. Like, when it tells me, like, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm just jumpy. It seems possible to me that I am just jumpy, okay? But, like, when I see it say, like, one uncommon reward, I start being like, eh, what's going to happen Cast here? me to the field. I will be your light in the darkness, your lightning bolt of retribution. I like the battle maps. Like, I like the way that those look. They're kind of cool, and they've got nice lighting effects. Every battle begins by summoning the hero from my warband to the battlefield. I summon you, Sigma. Uh, power is a resource used to summon more critters. Okay, so there's the price right there. I see what they're doing. There we go. Sigma, heal this ravaged body. Castigator, That's probably like, I shout that at least ground. like five times a day. The slope may uh, slow us. Once it is ours, we can strike down the enemy from greater ranges. Okay. Yeah, sure, dudes. Let's let's do that. Yes, take take the high ground. I'm more of like a low road guy, but like high ground is fine too. It looks like they also have the exact same plan. A war chest and law cash bless this battlefield. I shall secure each in your name, Lord Sigmar. There we go. All right, great bows are we up, and then this let's grab the war chest. That sounds good. Sigma, bless this ravaged chest. These war spoils will aid our cause. All right, so we get war gear, skills, and new units by getting chests and winning battles. Sounds good. I like loot. Who doesn't love loot? Everybody loves loot. Loot's the best. Uh-oh. This doth not go the way that I expected, my Lord Sigma. Smack that fool up. Bow! There we go. Give him the big old Helden Hammer. Give him the Helden Hammer handshake. Let him have it. Oh, 
a little bit of damage taken right there, but I think it'll be all right. We also don't really know where the enemy is going to spawn from. Uh, I believe those are indicators of where the enemy is going to spawn from. So that's wieners. But I'm going to send these guys over here to maybe grab this lore cache. I don't really care about the lore cache. I care more about, like, the loot cache. Can I? Ooh, do that, do that, do that. I wonder if that'll work. Dude, it totally worked. I have I have isolated the first source of cheese in my gameplay. Uh, she can't really get up there. I think I'll probably just chillax back here. I don't really want to challenge anybody right now, so I'm not going to. However... This does create issues. Yeah, let's go ahead and save our archers real fast. And just make sure that they don't get totally pinched off. Those guys don't have armor, so I'll soften them up and we'll deal with the armory guys next. Weak, bro. Super, super weak, bro. On the plus side, they just committed suicide to deal one damage. So like I can I can deal with that. Yeah, go ahead and scuff them up, I guess. I don't know precisely. Oh, there's only two waves. Okay. I didn't know if there was gonna be like a third wave, a fourth wave, a fifth wave. And so I was like, we kind of took a lot of early damage right there, and that makes me feel a little bit nervous. We got blood-stained bolts. Ranged attacks will bleed the target. We got liberators over here who seem to just be like a weaker version of Freya. They deal the same damage. They've got lower armor, lower HP, but, like, that's fine. I need more front-range guys, so, like, I'm okay with this. We got a Sigmarite Warhammer. Okay. Oh, the Castigators level up, too. Interesting. Okay. Well, once a sacred place, now a ruin. Destroy the enemy warband that desecrates it. We get war gear for this, and we get an assault class. All right. Let's go for it. Uh, with our loadout, you've unlocked new war gear. Yeah, let's let's do that. So she's got the war hammer. Different war gear unlocks different stat changes and active abilities. Unlock rarer war gear from chests and encounter completion for biggest stat improvements. Okay. Does it tell me what the modification is? Oh, it gives you abilities. Gotcha. So, like, in this situation, what is the difference between, like, the gray version and the green version? Does it matter? Like, it seems like they both give me the same ability. Is this, like, an upgraded version? I don't know. Like I said, a little weird quality of life things. Maybe I'm just not that far into the game just yet, but... All right, well, that's cool. I like equipping stuff, so that's fun. Units can also equip skills. Do I have any skill? Oh, yeah, I did. I picked up that bleed thing, didn't I? Okay, so, yeah, we'll do the bloodstained bolts. There we go. So, let's see. Equipping castigators, it did, yeah, additional damage over time. I definitely want that. That sounds really, really nice, just in case I can't get to a particular problem. And then we've got the castigators over here. Uh, they look like normal guys in plate mail that are down for a good smash. All right, so where's our deployment zone at? Ah, right there. Okay, so we're at to fight our way forward. Those guys cost four. Winds of magic are drawn to this ruin. This was once a holy place. Once? Once? Long have my kindred and I desecrated it! There's nothing for you here, Stormcast! Nothing but death itself! You're wrong, Dark One. The ether is plentiful here. With it, the light of Sigma will be rekindled in this dark place. Okay, well, I don't really have enough to summon any of my other guys. 
So I assume this will maybe accumulate or something as we go along. We'll get more of these little jemmies over here. Uh, it looks like maybe the addition, because these guys cost three last game, did they not? The castigators. So it's possible that the addition of that new item raised their battle cost. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll fight from this pinch point right here. I don't think we have much of an option. Are you spectres blind to the wellspring of ether here? Perhaps I will awaken your senses to it by capturing it and wielding it against you. Yeah, maybe that's what that thing does right there, is it gives me more, like, summoning potential, possibly. Hey, we got another thingy. Uh, bring in my castigators, dude. Yeah, bring in my castigators. Let's have them do their thing. They don't get to do anything on their first turn, which is a bummer. But we're going to fight from right here if we can. Uh, we picked up an item, so that's rad. And then what does that do? So current Aether. Is the Aether... I think it's those blue things, right? I don't know if I want to take that just yet. Like, I don't know if I want to give up the good tactical ground to take that. Like, I probably should, but, like, this little pinch point right here is simply just too delicious for me not to use. Especially given how outgunned we are right now. Like, they have a lot of dudes. Uh, we can put in these boys right here to watch this back flank if they try to loop around. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We'll put them right there. Uh, you guys, start to... Uh I got a feeling somebody's going to move to right there. I just, I got a sneaking suspicion. So I'm just going to wait it out. Yep. They couldn't even get, I got the armor save right there. They couldn't even get through my thick old armor, dude. They couldn't get through my gnarly platies. All right, so those dudes are down. Oh my, I don't know what happened right there. I'm actually a little bit vexed about it. Uh, fire at them, I guess. You guys come over to here and block that off and guard these dudes. You have protect, ply, plus two armor for one turn. Oh, they can only do it on other people, though. Gotcha. Okay. Well, we'll wait it out from right here, I guess. They've got to push through to get to me, so I'm not that worried about it. Retaliation. Oh, Retaliation did not take care of them. That's a bummer. Oh, they did the explodey thing again, dude. That explodey thing is disgusting. I would like to look at their abilities. Can I, like, right-click them or something? There we go. That keeps it up. So they've got Charge, and they've got Chilled to the Core, Shriek, Siren's Call on Death, they explode, dealing two damage, and Knockback. Yeah, that's problematic. I don't like that at all. Okay, well, I'm going to try to hold this position the best I can. Let's start moving forward, I guess. Now that we've got a little bit of breathing room, these guys are just absolutely busted right now, which is not great, but... I wield the Wellspring's power now, Spectre. Your defeat is ensured. All right, so we get bonus Aether at the start of our turn while your unit is occupying the Hex. Okay. Fair enough. Not crazy sure how helpful that's going to be, but I'll take it. Dude, do you give armor to everyone you're adjacent to? What a god. What an absolute sex beast. I'm so proud of you right now. Yeah, I'm going to bait you in. Let's go ahead and pull him. A little bit of Damaji right there. Um, are these the explodey ones? Do these do the, the explodey thing? Okay, they don't do the explodey thing. Yeah, go ahead and charge on in there and get rid of him. 
So he's down. And then I don't know where those guys are going to go. I just got to kind of take my best guess. So I'm going to put the uh, the AOE right there. Okay, that's fine. It directed them straight to the person that like can take damage the most. And so I don't really mind if we just use that as area denial. No. Boom. The mance rejects you. This place, it, it belongs to Nagash, to the dead. Not the living! The righteous will always prevail. I have taught you that lesson, and I will teach it to each of your spectral kin in turn. Nice. Two waves. That's all that it took. Congratulations, the Night Hunt campaign and the Maggot Kin campaign have been unlocked. There you go. So I guess it wants you to, like learn the uh, the basics however i'm pretty sure you can only run one campaign at a time from what i was reading in the reviews and whatnot uh so like you've got to cancel this campaign in order to start like a new one with a different army you can't have concurrently running campaigns with different armies and so anyways we've got rewards we've got drake sworn mantle and we've got the prosecutor okay the prosecutor appears to be three damage four hp one armor Probably has some dope abilities, though. Uh, we also got a Thunderhead Great Bow. I'll take that. I want to know what happens when we level people up. That's what I'm curious about. So we've got a choice here. We can go for a Scout class and a Skill. We can go for a Skill and... Oh, it's the same thing in either direction. Okay. Destroy the Soul Prison. I like the sound of that. That sounds like fun. Uh, we've got another unit right here that we can throw on in. So we've got the... Oh, dude, they're little angelic guys. Hell yeah. He's got, like, little wingy dudes, bro. He's got, like, some wingy dudes, my man. Uh, we can get the Drake Sworn Mantle. I don't know if that's just, like... Oh, it gives her, like, a Balthazar Gelt look. Okay, so apparently that's just like a cosmetic, basically, so you can pick and choose how you want your character to look. I don't think I picked up anything else. I'm not, like, positive about that, but I'll click on every single slot just to make sure. Because you never know. Alright, what did I pick up then? Because I picked up something. Castigators, they got the war bow, so that's probably going to do something. God only knows, dude. I have no idea. So oh, we can right-click on it. Okay. So the great bow shot gets extra range. I'll take that. That's that's fine. That's good. Uh, we don't have anything else going on over here. And it looks like there are different skins for the other units that are up in here as well. Uh, with our liberators. I don't know if I picked up anything. Ah, okay. So that won't go right there. We don't have a shield. We don't have an ability for you. I think we're still okay. I think we're in a good spot right here. But I am excited about the prospects of playing more unit cards. Like, I want to see what these little guys have going for them. Alright, so we're a little bit outnumbered here. We can only do one summon at the beginning. We have 20 turns to get this done. I think that that's more than possible. I this soul theft to go on any longer. These spirits should be at peace, not imprisoned and forced to plague the living. It is your false god who would steal these souls. All souls rightfully belong to mighty Nagash, including yours. Sounds like the same voice actor from Disco Elysium that did like that one part of your subconscious. I forget what part of it it was, but it was always just like, mm, creeping blackness. Like It feels like the same voice actor. Uh, we're not going to be able to do much till next turn, so we'll move her up. But yeah, this is uh, Warhammer Age of Sigmar Stormgrounds. There is a hefty multiplayer component to this game with building your own army and going up against other people. Obviously, I don't do that. Like, I just want to play, like, the campaign version. But I like what I've seen so far. I, I think that, like, as of right now, it's not super apparent whether or not there's going to be, like, an extra layer of strategy or whatever that goes on into the game. Uh, I think presentation-wise, they've done a fantastic job. It's probably one of the best-looking Warhammer games that they've put out when it comes to focus on interactive. And so I think 
the spell effects, the characters, the voice acting, all very, very nice. The models look fantastic, so kudos on that front. Uh, there are some little quality of life things I'd like to see, like mousing over an enemy shows you the range inside of which they can move. I do think the tutorial could be a little bit clearer about the way that kind of stuff works. Uh, it's hard to determine, like, okay, can I move and then attack, like, or do I only get an attack, or like, I only get a move. Some of that stuff's kind of up in the air after my 30 or 35 minutes with the game so far. I'm sure it'll become more apparent as time goes along, but it's just one of those things that I sort of noticed is that like I'm playing it like I'm killing stuff and like I'm moving along but when it when it comes to I'm still not totally positive whether when it comes to moving and shooting like whether or not that's possible or whatever I probably should have experimented more uh, aside from that though the roguelike mechanics I guess or roguelite mechanics apparently the units keep their XP in between runs if you die and you're just trying to go as far as possible so that's sort of interesting uh, but yeah quality of life I think if they can get the quality of life kind of cleaned up a little bit uh, for you know turn-based strategy games I, I think it would actually bump this game up because I think that's the weakest point is this that it's missing things that other turn-based strategy games have had for quite some time but other than that it looks great and it plays pretty good and we haven't had any bugs so far so that's pretty cool it's got a price point of 40 bucks which is pricey so anyways if you're not sure I'd probably wait for a sale but yeah Age of Sigmar Stormground. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile of found what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. I'll see you all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet. Thanks for hanging out with me.